This is uh, Dr. Mohamed Abdelghani, Professor and Chief of Cardiology, Cairo University. Uh, I'd like to send you a short message about uh, diagnosis of a very important subject, pulmonary embolism. When you are confronted uh, with a patient who has uh, shortness of breath, mild chest pain, you have to consider all the differential diagnoses. One of them is pulmonary embolism. If your patient has a history of DVT or pulmonary embolism, if he has clinical evidence of DVT, if he has risk factors for DVT and pulmonary embolism, like hypercoagulable state, you should consider your patient as likely pulmonary embolism. And you should do the following. You may consider D-dimer. If it's negative, it's good negative. If it's positive, you have to go to CT pulmonary angio. CT pulmonary angio is very sensitive and very crucial in the diagnosis of pulmonary embolism. After that, you should risk stratify your patient with settled diagnosis of pulmonary embolism. If he has hemodynamic instability and drop of blood pressure, about go shock or already in shock, you have to give streptokinase or TPA, fibrinolysis or streptokinase. Otherwise, you should consider risk stratification of your patient. If he has evidence of right ventricular strain in echo or high troponin, or he has risk criteria by clinical examination, you should consider hospitalization of your patient. Otherwise, if he has low risk criteria, no hemodynamic instability, no right ventricular strain pattern, no echocardiographic criteria for right ventricular strain or high troponins or clinical risk factors, you may consider early discharge. Step one in managing the patient is anticoagulation. Low molecular weight heparin is better than unfractionated heparin, and no novel oral anticoagulation may be better than warfarin. Thank you.